हे गाइस दिस इज सुभाष एस मिश्रा योर टेस्ट कोच टुडे वी विल लर्न अबाउट ए मोस्ट कॉमन इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन राइट टेस्ट केसेस फॉर पेन दिस क्वेश्चन साउंड्स वेरी इजी टू आंसर बट इन द सेम टाइम इंटरव्यूअर ऑब्जर्व द डिफरेंट एस्पेक्ट यू आर कवरिंग व्हाइल राइटिंग द टेस्ट केसेस फॉर पेन विथ माई एक्सपीरियंस आई एम टेलिंग आई हैव सीन पीपल जस्ट टेक इट वेरी इजी एंड राइट फ्यू रैंडम टेस्ट केसेस I am not telling they are wrong, but today I am going to explain you how can you cover most of the test cases, and your answers will definitely make a positive impression. So let's start then. Okay, one more thing you should remember when any interviewer asking you this kind of question, like write a test case for pen or pencil like that, always think about what are the different kind of testing you can do for that product. so here when i'm telling product it means the pen or pencil right so let's see what are the different type of testing we can do here i think here we are seeing user interface or user experience test case for pen so you know we should always cover the ui test cases and uh, ux test cases these are very important ui test cases covers the testing of the graphical user interface of the application to be tested so here the application is pen same time user experience also matters because we should know what is the experience of the user while using that particular product or application okay then we have functional test cases you know what is a functional testing we should do we should check the functionality of that product is working fine then we have some negative test cases we should check where where exactly that is breaking uh, right that product is not able to work on work more on that then performance test cases in performance we should see what is the performance of that product okay so let's move then uh, the first thing is uh, we'll learn about what about the ui or ux test cases we can write for pen so here i have uh, covered few test cases you can see the first thing is we can verify the length and diameter of the pen okay so in our requirement document maybe it would have been given the pen should be this much length we should test as per that we should verify the length and diameter of that pen is fine then the second thing we can verify the outer body material of the pen if it is metallic or plastic and whatever exactly given in the requirement document we should cover that if in our requirement document it is given the body material should be metallic then it should be metallic or if it should be plastic or any other uh, things right it should be like that so we should cover those things right then verify the color of the outer body so maybe we should cover the different uh, colors right pen can be different color so whatever given in our requirement document if it's uh, if it should be red color or blue color whatever it should be like that we should cover that then we should cover the brand name or logo right so for example if you are using a pen and in that pen there is some brand name or logo is given and if that brand name spelling is wrong or logo whatever the logo it's it is not proper so we should verify those things right and it should be visible properly then verify that any information displayed on the pen should be legible and clearly visible right so everything should be visible whatever information given in that then the next thing is grip of the pen so you know if the grip is fine then we should able to hold it properly and write it properly right so we should verify that user experience right how the grip is how we are able to write it then again the same thing verify if you are able to write smoothly using that pen then one more thing we can use also very uh, you can test also verify the weight of the pen so what is the weight of the pen if that pen is very heavy maybe then user will not feel good while writing with that pen right so that is also we should verify and maybe in our requirement document also it should have given what is what should be the weight of that pen then we can verify weight of the pen also right then we'll move to the next thing the functional test cases so in functional test cases we can cover different functionality for example verify the type of the pen so there are there can be multiple uh, different types of pen right maybe ballpoint pen maybe ink pen or gel pen so we should cover what is the type of the pen again this is also as per the requirement then verify if a pen can write on a variety of papers like smooth rough thick thin 
all these kind of papers right we should try whether we are able to write on those kind of papers or not or if it is working on some some different paper. for example it is working on only smooth papers so we should verify all those different kind kind of papers right then verify if the pen is with a cap or without cap sometimes we see some pens will have caps and some pens will not have caps so whatever is given in the requirement document if in our requirement document it is given it should have a cap then we should verify the pen having a cap right then verify the functioning of pen on applying normal pressure during writing so when we are writing the uh, using that pen right so what is the pressure you are using right so it should work fine with a normal pressure you, you should not give a lot of pressure to write with that pen so we should verify that verify if the text written by the pen is waterproof or not you can verify this thing also right verify if the ink will not get dried easily by keeping the pen open for some time right so maybe you are keeping it open and it is getting dried you can test that that things also again refill things you can verify verify if any other refill fits in the pen or not because uh, while uh, the when the pen is made right one refill will be there then you should able to remove that and you should able to apply one more refill verify if the pen can support multiple refills right it should support multiple refills uh, sometime we have seen the uh, some pens supports multiple refills again this is depending upon your requirement document if in your requirement it is given it should support multiple refills it should or it should not in the case of an ink pen verify that user is able to refill the pen with all the supported ink again if it is a ink pen it should support you should able to refill the pen with different uh, inks again this is depending upon your requirement document right in the case of an ink pen verify that the mechanism to refill the pen is easy to operate it should be very easy you should able to refill it in the case of a ballpoint pen verify the size of the tip so if it is a ballpoint pen the tip is matters so we should check that size of the tip in the case of a in the case of a ball and a gel pen verify that user can change the refill of the pen easily right you should able to change it very easily refills and all then we will have the negative test cases drop the pen from some height in the upside down position verify if you are able to write with with this pen right so you are just dropping the pen just to check because it happens right in our uh, normal life it, it it can be it is possible your pen is dropped from some weight for example here it is table height then it should work fine right so that is one of the negative test cases then verify if the user is able to write with a pen when used against the gravity so we have seen when the pen is in if it is in a opposite way right upside down then may, so maybe sometime it don't work so we should test that also verify the functioning of a pen when user tries to write on unsupported surface so like glass plastic wood and all it should work fine with the papers but yeah if it is whether it is working on glass plastic wood and all right we can test that verify if the pen works normally or not when dropped in water or any other liquid for some period of time so we know it it may work it may not work but we can verify this kind of things we can verify the uh, how it is working when it is dropped in water okay then we'll cover some performance test cases so in performance test cases we know we can check the performance of that product so here we can the first thing we, we can test how fast you can write with this pen if it is helping you to increase your speed of writing right so we can check that verify how fast you can write with this pen then the second thing is verify if the pen will perform the same even though you use continuously for hours right so you are continuously writing with uh, with that pen then the performance of that pen is still remain same we can verify that verify how much can be written on the refill or ink sack right so how much we can write with that one refill or it is taking this many papers we can write or we can uh, write some more so that kind of uh, border line we can reach right so using one pen we can write for example 10 pages something like that so we can verify those kind of things also verify if of the tip or nib of the pen is not destroyed after continuous writing for hours again how much time it is taking means how strong those uh, tip or nib is we can verify that because if you are writing maybe continuously it is possible it will get damaged 
or something like that right so we can verify those things so those are the performance aspects we have covered for the pain so here we have covered all different types of testing like ui or ux testing then functional testing negative testing and then performance testing so when you are answering with all these different kind of test cases when you are writing this many test cases right so definitely it will give a positive impression and you have covered most of the test cases for pain okay thank you if you have any questions please let me know in the comment section i'll try to explain it please like share and subscribe to my channel